Hey guys, this is Naturally Greer, and I'm here showing you some styles that you can do with any flat twist or twist out or even braid out. So let's get started. So first you wanna just start with freshly washed hair. Um, I'm gonna split my hair in the very front in a V shape. That way I can split my part or change my part from side to side um, or even have like this faux bang type style. So you always want to moisturize, sealing your moisture with your butter or oil mixture. And then I put my gel on top. Um, my gel is my flaxseed gel that I make, uh, but I did a little bit different with this gel this time. I kind of watered it down some. And the reason I did that is because if my gel is really thick, I get a really defined, really defined twist out. And so I wanted it to be more of like a fro style. So I watered it down some so that I could have a little bit more fluff to my hair without so much definition. I like to put my parts or my sections in kind of the direction I want my hair to lay because I wanna do minimal manipulation after I take my twist out. So you'll notice that I will braid or twist or flat twist my hair um, kind of towards the front on this side and over on my left side, I'll kind of flat twist, braid, or do a twist out with my hair going in a downward direction. Make sure you don't force your flat twist. Make sure you flat twist from the top of your hair all the way to the bottom. And what I mean by force the flat twist is not try to get to the end and finish it. Like you want your twist to be as tight as they possibly can be. That way you're going to get max definition of your twist. If you try to force your twist or loosely twist your hair all the way down, you're not going to get max definition from your twist. You're going to get something kind of like puffy or fluffy with a little bit of a definition to it, but not max definition like you want to usually get with a twist out. Okay, so I'm going to take this front section and every two twists, I'm going to do like a pin curl or a pin up with it. And I'm using my pins from Sally's, the Mega Grip pins. These are the bomb pins, y'all. Um, the, the, ends, the ends don't break off, so they won't snag or get your ends caught up in them. So they're definitely good for investment. I've had this pack for about two years, so that's how long they last. satin scarf on the hair just tie it up get ready for bed and I will see you all in the morning all right so for the takedown I already took all the pins out in this front section I'm gonna finish removing them from the back and then we'll take the twist out. Um, when you take twist, uh, whether they're flat twists or regular twists out of your hair, always start from the bottom up. Therefore, like I said before, less manipulation, more definition. You wanna keep the most definition to your hair by manipulating it the least. And so if you're constantly going back or under the section that you've already uh, untwisted, then you're gonna disturb your curl pattern. So always start from the bottom up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick my hair out some just to add a little bit more fluff. Like I said, I'm going for, you know, kind of a faux fro look. As you can see, I have some little curls at the ends from pin curling my hair. Came out pretty cute. And that is the basic look for today. Uh, a really good defined 
flat twist out. As you can see, I left my twist in the front uh, on my left side, kind of to just help better define my hair and just, I guess, to add something to it. You know, I just, I don't like just regular flat twists, so flat twist outs. So I just left that little flat twist right there in the front. So that night, I'm going to retwist the very hairline of my hair. As you can see, I've already started. I have two twists in the front that already pin curled. This side that I never untwisted. And then I'm going to twist the other side of my hair and pin curl both sides up. Then I'm going to take the back section of my hair and just pin it in place. I want some of that definition to last, but I'm going to do another style tomorrow. So tomorrow I need it more fluffy. So therefore I'm just going to pin it in place and satin cap applied. So the next morning, I'm gonna take my hair loose. I'm gonna re-moisturize first before manipulating and removing my pins. So after I remove all the pins out of the back and as well as the front, I'm gonna take these twists down and fluff a little bit. And after I fluff, I'm going to start pinning up my sides in the back of my hair. Um, I'm trying not to wear any headbands in my hair because they give me headaches as well as break my hairline some. Regardless of how much I stress them out on chairs and all kind of stuff, I still get breakage from them. So I'm trying to protect my edges as much as possible. So I'm going to loosely pin up my sides and my back with some pins. And I'm using the Mega Grip Sally pins again because they work so well. So this is kind of the finished look. And you notice I can have like a little bang in the front and the back is all put up and nicely styled like it is a puff. Everybody thought I had just a regular puff in my hair that day. And I had to tell him, nope, it's just pins. This style can be done with a braid in the back, twist in the back. And this was the results afterwards. Nice fluff fro. So I'm gonna re-moisturize and then I'm gonna re-twist. And the magic of cameras. So this time I'm not gonna pin my hair up. I'm just gonna let my twist hang freely and dry. So the next day I have a more stretched out twist out like this. So I use my regular gel and as you can see, more definition, super, super definition. So this is just a twist out on my hair and I wore it like this for a day. This is the second day of my twist out. So like I said, more definition. It's a little poofier than it was the day before because my hair is really, really defined with my flaxseed gel. So second day, I'm gonna kinda pin up the sides just to give my twist out a different look um, because just having a twist out sometimes is just boring. So I wanted a little bit more to my twist out so I pinned the sides up right by my ears. Sometimes I'll leave a little bit of hair down right there above my ear, um, but this time I just pulled everything up. And I'm going to take the center and just fluff it together with my pick comb and leave myself with like a little bang with uh, some height on the top. And that's it. So that's three easy styles that you can do with any braid out, twist out, flat twist out. 
Um, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like. I hope you try. I hope you like this video by clicking that thumbs up. Share it. Subscribe. Whatever you want to do. I'm here for you. Here's a shout out to some of my faithful subscribers on Instagram and Google+. Plus. Um, keep all the comments, loving comments, loving remarks coming. And I'll check y'all later. Bye.